Dun dun dun. Make code minute. Make code minute today. What I want to talk about is functions. So, so far, a lot of the stuff we've done on Make Code Minute is plugging together blocks in a series or sometimes in a loop. Um, but when you get into a more complicated program, sometimes you want a whole little collection of blocks to be something that you can call by name and reference that collection of blocks without repeating it all over the place. Uh, so a way to do that is with something called a function. So if you look here in the left side of Make Code, when I open up this advanced section, I have a category called functions. And in functions, I can make a function and then I can call functions. So these are two that I made earlier. So here's how you would make one. So uh, let's make one that's called, uh, how about noise function. So now I have a new function here called noise function. And noise function, I'm going to make some bleeping, blooping noises. Uh, what I want to use this for is, let's say I switch the uh, built-in switch left or right on the Circuit Playground Express, and I want, when I go to one side, it to demo some noises for me. When I flip to the other side, I want it to demo some lights for me. Uh, so a way to do that is to create a couple of functions. So here I have noise function, and earlier I made a function called light show. So in my light show and in my noise function, I can have a series of blocks, and then when I either press a button or touch the tap sensor or move the accelerometer, or in, or in our case, switch the switch, we can then have make code run everything that lives off to the side over in one of these functions. So let's build our noise function right now, and then we'll take a look at the light function. Uh, so in, uh, whoops, sorry, music, we can bring in some sounds. Let's say play a sound. Uh, we'll pick the jump up sound and then we'll grab some play tones and some rests. So these are pauses and beeps on the, on the speaker. I'm going to duplicate these a few times so that I can have tones play and pauses. So here in middle C, uh, I can, sorry, here in, in the playtone, I click it, it was at, set at middle C, but that pops up this little piano, piano interface, so I can choose a different tone here and how long it's going to play for. Let's say I want it for a quarter note, and I'll duplicate that and change the note, duplicate it again, and change the note. So now what's going to happen is when this function gets called, it's going to play this prepared sound called jump up, then it's going to play these different beats, uh, and if I want maybe this whole thing to happen three times, rather than duplicating this whole thing, I can put it inside of a loop. So I'm going to pick this repeat loop and stick the whole thing inside of there. Let's, let's make it run, uh, let's say, two times. Uh, so now you can see I have an, this thing called noise function. I can change this name to noise show. Does it let me change it here? I think it does. Yeah. Uh, and now in my inputs, I can choose what happens when I move the switch. So when I move the switch to the left, let me bring this up here. And I'll, ooh, I'll move that out of my face. That's right on me. Hello. Uh, when I move the switch to the left, what I want it to do is, I'm going to grab from the function, call the function noise show. So now this sort of simplifies and neatens my code visually. It means that I can move this off to the side and kind of stop thinking about it. And now as I deal with the interactivity, what's the user going to do with the Circuit Playground Express, uh, I just have this one little thing to call, and it goes and runs a whole bunch of other code, uh, which is a, a sort of a nice, neat way to work. And now I'll duplicate this and say, what happens when I move the switch to the right? We're going to call the light show. Okay. So I had some of these prepared before, and they're grayed out now because I've duplicated them. So let's blow these away. Delete. Delete. I had made a sound show before, but we'll get rid of that because I've now made that noise show. Goodbye. Okay, so I don't have anything happening in the forever loop. And when it starts up, I have the pixels going um, to sort of a light purple. So here's the flow of what happens. We have... Uh, the Circuit Playground Express will start up. It'll set the pixels to this lavender color. And then it's just sitting around and waiting for me to switch the switch to the left or the right. 
So I'm going to go ahead and download this. I've saved it. Uh, I've given it a name. So it's called the Functions Show. And let me plug in. So here's Circuit Playground Express. I'm going to plug that into USB. And I saw that Noe and Pedro were mentioning yesterday on their show on 3D Hangouts that they, uh, I think in the beta version, can now save directly from uh, Circuit Play, uh, sorry, from Make Code to the Circuit Playground Express without saving it first to the hard drive and dragging it. I haven't tried that yet. That sounds awesome. So what I'm going to do, you won't see it here because I'm not sharing that part of the screen, but I've just hit download. I'm going to save file. It's going to uh, save that to my downloads. And then when I press the, let me close this so you can see me again. Hello. Uh, get some things out of my way. There we go. Uh, there I am. I'm going to press uh, the center button. Whoops, I'm going to double click that. I say I'm going to double click, I'm going to single click it, sorry, single click it. Uh, it's now in bootloader mode, so it's waiting for me to drag that file on. Uh, that trips me up because on Circuit Playground, uh, Circuit Python, we double click, here we single click. Um, but I guess that's because we're not going to bootloader mode in the other, that's to restart it. Okay, so now let me make a new, uh, you don't see this, but I'm opening up a window for my downloads folder and I'm going to drag this uf2 file over to this C play boot. You'll see it restart. So right now it is waiting for me to flip the switch. So I'm going to switch here. You should hear this. So here it is in light show mode. And now it just played the sound. Oh, it didn't play those, uh, those beeps. What happened? Did I do something silly? Let's look at our code. Uh, jump up, half a beat, and then play these tones. I don't know why it's not playing those tones. This is live. This is not uh, pre-cooked. So what did I do funny? I'm resting. Let's rest for a, a full beat. Yeah, I should play this twice when I move left. Noise show, noise show. That all looks good. You know what? I'll also test it in the simulator up here. So when I click on the slide switch that's in the little simulator, it will either show the light show or play the sounds. So there's the light show, and I actually have to turn up my volume. I might echo here for a second, but hold on. Yeah, okay, that works. Oh, let me turn down my sound so I don't echo for you. So let's see, why didn't it work on here? You tell me. It doesn't like doing that. It's beeping, but it's not playing the full thing. I don't know what happened. Let's yank out the repeat. So we'll try simplifying this down to just play the sound jump up for me. How about so download that. I'm going to re-initialize the board into bootloader mode. Yes, definitely upload the changes. Thank you, Nis. Good call. Uh, all right, so drag that on to... C play boot, where are you? There you are. Okay. So light show, and then flip the switch. All right, play the song. I'm going to leave it at that. I don't know why it didn't play the uh, tones, but I don't want to uh, take more time on this. If you have a problem with that, let me know. That should work, and my other example was basically doing the same thing, so I don't know what I've messed up there. But that is the power of functions. So, um, you can build really large uh, collections of blocks and then call them in multiple places and call them easily rather than having your inputs filled up. You can imagine if what we did was uh, load all those blocks and let's say there were a lot of them into the move switch left, if we start having uh, loops and uh, conditions and things changing, you start to have just a few very, very huge blocks. Functions allow you to um, compartmentalize what you're doing in your code really neatly. So that is functions, and that is our make code minute, 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 minute.